All right, so welcome back. I'm just going to go through solving systems and equations. And these are some um, experience first formalized later lessons I came up with. So hopefully this will help you kind of get a sense of how things work before we actually start talking through the math. Okay. Now here at West Chicago High School, our Spanish club has a couple of sister cities. And one of them is in Spain. And so you get to go on the Spanish trip. You were finding out about it from your teacher. And from there, um, you decide to, you and your best friend or your BFF, decide to go through and come up with it. Um, and you're going to turn in money at the same time. So to do that, you have saved $100 a week so far. And you're going to go through and save $10 a week. So the first thing that you're going to do on this is that you're going to go through and graph it over here. Okay, I don't need an equation. I don't need anything else. Just graph what the money looks like. So go ahead and hit pause for a second. And then come on back. So your graph should look like this. So you're starting at $100, right? And then you're going to add $10. So you're going to get $110, $120, $130, $140, $50, et cetera. So every week you're adding back $10. Not hard, right? I have $100, $110, $120, 130 Okay? So um, it's saying list two points on the line. So here, let's go ahead and draw the line. And you're going to find points on it. So for example, I would have something, let's say, like... Remember, this is my x-coordinate, this is my y-coordinate. Um, so maybe, let's say, like 4, 140. So that would be one point that's on my line. And you're going to do the same thing over here. So, okay, so here's 4 and 140. And then let's say we do this one up over here, and that's going to be 9, and we know that's going to be 190. So, okay, not too bad, right? So now the question is, what is the meaning of each point that we've listed? So what is going on here? Now, the one thing that I, I want to keep on impressing upon you is this. If you look down here, we will end up having most of what you need. So in this case here, you've got four what? Four, and this is my x-coordinate, so it's going to be four weeks, $140. Now, we want to put a little bit more context to that because what are we saving the money for? So after four weeks, I have $140 saved. If you could, I'm not sure that's better. So what does the point nine one hundred ninety mean? You're right. After nine weeks, $190 saved. Okay. Now, if we were going to go through and write the equation on this line, let's go back and we'll do it in English first, and then we'll translate over here into math. We would say, okay, so savings equals 100 plus, because again, that's our starting point right here, right? $100 plus $10 per week because that's the thing that happens over and over and over and over again. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and let's just go ahead and do SW. We're going to do S and W instead of, I guess, X and Y. But we get something that looks like that. Okay. Now, the other thing here to remember is this. Each point on my line is a solution for that line. So all those points that we figured out over here, the 0, 100, the 1, 110, the 4, 140, the 6, 160, the 7, 170, et cetera, et cetera, all of those are solutions for this line up here that we drew. Those are all numbers that make it valid or true. Okay, Keep that in the back of your head. So if you come down here, here's your BFF. They decided to save $20 a week. Now, if you go back up towards the top, you will see your friend has $50 saved up. So that's going to be where we're starting. So you're going to go ahead and pause it and graph and plot those points out. And I'll see you in a minute. So back over here, 0 and 50 is there. 
And now we're adding $20 every single time. So after one week, we have $20 more in. So I'm going to add $20 in, add another 20, add another 20, add another 20, add another 20, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all of those are going to be points on the line. So every point on that line, so every point on this line, is a solution for this situation. Okay, the equation here, similar, so we've got savings is gonna to equal to, in this case, $50 is our starting point, plus $20 per week. And now I'm only gonna do one point here, two points, obviously, if you're working on this on yourself, you'll have the same idea. But let's say we're going to pick this point up over here. Um, let's do six. Now let's actually, yeah, let's here. Eight comma, so this would be eight, and then over to 210. So after eight what? So eight weeks. There's my Y value up over there. So after eight weeks. Best friend forever has $210 saved. Okay, not hard, right? Now remember, you and your best friend wanted to turn in the money at the same time. So you guys were going to say, all right, once we have the same amount of money, we'll go ahead and turn it in. So I want you to take both of those graphs and we're going to put them down here on the same equation or on the same set of graphs down over here. All right, so, you having $100, adding $10 in from the first graph looks like that. Your best friend forever starting at $50 down here, but adding in $20 every week looks like that. So what do you notice about this? What's noticeable about the two graphs? Oh, they intersect, right? Now, just don't say intersection. Where do they intersect? Because that's probably a fairly important point right here. At 5, 150, if we graphed it out correctly. So, at the point 5, 150. Now, what does that mean? Okay, here's the billion dollar, billion dollar question, right? Well, not billion, probably about $150 question. So, after... five weeks, we both have $150 saved. Okay? Now, here's the big part. Here is the big, 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 everything's important section, okay? So, think about what's going on. All of these points here on this blue line are solutions to my savings, or your savings, actually. Every point here on the green line are solutions to you, your best friend's solutions. So the place where they meet the intersection, okay, is going to be the solution It's the solution that works for both lines. How about that? Kind of crazy, huh? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the video now. Part two will go through. We're going to formalize it a little bit, do some more mathy examples, and that'll be it. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.